hello guys in the last video tutorial we have already created the channel of the notification and so let's continue this series first of all I'm going to delete this text view and change this constraint layout to relative layout and now I'm going to add some vector assets like uh, for next previous play pause buttons so add some vector sets here let's say first add play button this play button circle and change this to name finish now add some more vector sets this will be let's say pause this circle pause press ok and finish okay let's say change this rename it and now next and finish now another vector set for next and previous so let's add this to sp skip next next and finish so adding the previous button skip previous and press ok next finish and here we will design the layout for our buttons first of all i'm going to give the gravity to it to make it center layout and inside this relative linear layout i'm going to add a linear layout which have width and height of wrap content and also let's say give an id let's say lin lay for linear layout and orientation will be horizontal and just close this and inside this linear layout we are going to add an image view and this image view have an id of previous let's see and so we have to add an src for this source and that will be the vector asset that we have just added for previous button and now close this and now i will copy this code and just paste it for making the next button and play pause button so three times and rename its id also for to play and drawable vector set also the id will be this for next and uh, vector set will be skip next and in the design part you can see this now i'm going to make its width and height of some more size so just 30 dp 40 dp and just copy this paste it to make all of these image view size bigger now you can see this is looking now good and also let's say add some padding no, let's say add some margin in each of the image view let's add this margin so that it can span and again we have to add some title to show the which of the song is playing now so going to just create a linear layout of width and height of wrap content and in this linear layout we will add some text view for showing the title so just close this and inside this linear layout we will add a text view which is having a width and height of wrap content and also we will give an id to it so let's say title songs as an id and text title and also i'm going to add a text size attribute to make it bigger now you can see the title is showing but this is in horizontal so we have to add orientation to this that will be vertical in the root layout now the title is above this linear layout and the designing part is done now we can go to the main activity and here we will connect all the views that we have created in our layout resource file that is image view and text views next previous and uh, play pause and also text view for song title title and we will connect it here in onCreate method next equals find view ID 
or dot id dot next and just copy this and paste it three more times and rename it to previous and this to previous and this to play and this to also play and this to title and this to, to title songs that we have given the id to our text view and now we will set the on click listener to each of the image view that is next previous and play pause button so set on click listener and new on click listener inside this on click we will add some logics so first copy and paste for two times more previous and this one will be play and now we have to add actions that is previous button clicked or next button clicked or pause play button clicked so first of all we have to create an interface that interface is not needed in this project but this will be very useful while you are creating a music player from services so here we will declare three methods void next clicked and likewise previous clicked and play clicked and after these methods declaration inside this interface we have to implement this interface in our main activity so inside here we have to implement action playing and implement these all the methods and inside this method we will define the body of that methods so first of all i'm going to create a position value that will be of type int and giving a default value of 0 now inside this next button clicked if position is greater than 3 in this case because we have added 4 images in our drywall folder and we have only 4 songs so if it will be equal to equal to 3 then we will assign the position equals 0 and in else case we will increment the position by 1 so plus plus and in previous button clicked we will check if condition with if it is equal to equal to 0 then we will assign the position to 3 that means the index will be 3 now and in else condition position minus minus to decrease the value of position and now we will set the text view in our title so set text and here we will set the text as track files are released dot get position dot get title that we have created the getter setter in our tracks model class and now we will just copy this and we will paste it here and now in our play clicked method we will check the condition if the media player is playing so we have to create a boolean variable that will be is playing same as media player dot is playing equals false as a default value and then we will check here is playing if media player is not playing then we will assign the value to is playing equals true that is now the media player is playing and after this we will set the image resource for this play image view so set image resource r dot tribal dot what will be the value it will be pause so pass the pause and in else condition we will assign each playing as false and set image resource by play ic icon that is play 
these three methods are same as we have created in our music player tutorial and here we have to call these methods that is next clicked in next set on click listener and previous clicked here and here we have to call play clicked and now let's run the app and see if it is working so the gradle build is running now the app is now successfully installed and you can see the all the three but buttons while when we will click on next button you can see the attention that we have created the title when we have populated the songs and when we will click on this play pause button this will set imagery source of play and pause and now i'm going to add a statement that is log statement and here we will set the status that is we will see the status if our song is playing so we have added this log cat and just copy this and paste it here and also here and at the top when this will be first created and now let's run the app and go to the log cat and here we will see the status of media player that is song now the gradle build is successfully finished the app is launched successfully and here you can see the song is not playing it is false and now let's click on this button and now you can see the song is playing this is showing the true but the title is not correct we will implement it in next video so in the log cat you can see the status of song is playing or not and hence we have done this part in the next part we will try to create notification for media style that's it for the tutorial thank you for watching